to another video. In this video we're going to be doing a bit of TIG welding. Uh, I've got a clamp from the CNC machine at work and uh, dropped it on the floor and it's broke one of the lugs off. So we'll attempt to re-weld you know, that back on. Uh, in the meantime we've had some stickers arrive or a sticker arrive to the channel which is Nigel uh, Walton over at Go Create. Uh, Nigel's got a brilliant channel about um, he's now making a steam engine, quite an old steam engine and that's you know really been good to follow but he's also uh, made some tools in the past and some of those tools have been really good as well so thanks Nigel and we'll get that stuck up on the board and uh, Nigel also sent me a short letter as well which was um, you know really interesting so thanks Nigel thanks again I think you'll fit in there Nigel just about right And you're in some good company there. Uh, the only trouble is they're all Aussies, mate. <laughs> but never mind, they're all good guys and really good to follow. So anyway, thanks again, Nigel. Thanks for the sticker. Well, before we go over to the welding bench and just start that welding, I just thought I'd show you. Um, I've been messing around on the 3D printer and uh, made a camera um, sort of extension tripod arm sort of type thing. And uh, just so I can get in close, because that's real hard on the on the tripod to get in close and film on the lathe. Uh, I did have a contraption sort of hung up on the back of the lathe here, but it just got in the way all the time. So now I've got something with a bit of reach on it. But anyway, we'll take the camera off. Um, I use a mobile phone for filming. Um, it's a lot better quality than my um, digital camera. And the sound quality is also better. But um, yeah, we'll take it off and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what I've come up with, uh, just basic parts printed, uh, all the white is just what I happen to have in stock so uh, these are all obviously 3D printed and the base just slides into where a camera would normally sit if we can get that off with one arm. So yeah so that will just fit straight into the mechanism there and then um, we've got some um, like a knuckle joint here and up here. And then these obviously got serrations in, so you just a bit. Oh, you can see them. Um, so I can adjust that to any sort of angle. Uh, I'm going to change those. I need more serrations because um, going from one position to the next, um, it doesn't give me enough sort of. Um, I want more movement, you know, more so I can get it really sort of where I want it. So I'm going to do reprint both of those. And at the top here, we've got the camera mount itself. So this is the shoe or the mount which goes into here normally and I've just copied that you see and then obviously made this part here for the camera just to slide into if I get it back in. Yeah so so yeah so but it works well I mean it's not particularly sturdy um, it does jiggle about a bit but once you know I mean it's only got to support the weight of a mobile phone and it's ideal for what I need. But that really allows me to, if I move this over to the lathe, that will really allow me to get shots, you know, of not my head getting in the way mainly. So and this is obviously all swivels and moves around and there's um, tilt on the head, tilt this way as well. So, you know, it's going to be really sort of good to get those good shots. And obviously it will work on the other machines as well. So... But yeah, so a bit of a work in progress at the moment. Like I say, I want to reprint these two joints here and just have more um, more sort of serrations on so they'll, you know, so I can get more sort of, if I want to just go slightly down, I can, rather than sort of jumping from this point down to this point. But anyway, work in progress. This is a steady clamp from the CNC machine at work. Um, all it does is hold um, this side of the you know of a piece of work material into place um, just to steady it. So you can see where the pressure has been applied to the back here. Um, so all the pressure is on this face here and obviously on the front face where it's clamping up against the workpiece. It's been dropped on the floor so the lug has broken off. This is cast aluminium and it's a an, an, an Italian machine. Um, and they seem to make everything themselves, so we're working out whether this is going to be a poor quality cast type of aluminium or a good quality. 
And looking at the rest of the machine, obviously, you know, it has good quality um, aluminium. So what we're going to do is we're going to dismantle this. Uh, this is plastic on the front here. It's just a tilt and block. And we'll drive the pin out and take that off. And then that will just leave us with the aluminium part of it. We'll give that a clean up. And we've got some oil soaking or some cut and lube soaking in here. So we'll just have to get rid of that. We'll probably use some uh, carburetor cleaner just to clean that off. And then once we've done that, we'll get this jigged up in the vise. We'll just V this out down here and um, we'll start to, you know, try and TIG weld it back together. Uh, like I was saying, the forces are all on these two faces, this one and this one. The, um, you know, where it sits on the V-way, um, it's just literally just to hold it in position. So not a huge amount of pressure is being put on this lug. So the weld, what we do, you know, it should be ample for it to, um, you know, cope with that. We have got some more of these on order, but they're going to be coming from Italy. So <laughs> it's going to take a while to get to us. So this will just tide us over until they arrive. So anyway, we'll get started and we see how we get on. So we'll just drive this pin out. And then we'll start to um, clean this up. I mean, at the moment, it's got all uh, grease and um, grime from the machine. So we really need to get that off. We really need to get this area clean. And um, then we'll start the v and out of it. So that should do, and we'll get the VTOL, uh, the, um, we've got some rotary burrs here which we're going to be using to clean these out. So I've, I'm just about getting here with this one, so we can run a V straight down there and we'll cut right into the cut, uh, into the where it snaps off I mean. And then I think what we'll do is we'll weld into here first to get, you know, so we can hold this on, get a good penetration and get a good weld in there and then we'll obviously weld around the rest of it.